What's up? Do you like making candles? Yes, I do. You want to learn how? Stay tuned. We're going to need a few things. Hot plates or stove. Container. I'm using an 8 ounce. I'm going to be pouring to 6 ounces. Wick centering tool. You're going to need a wick. I got the Eco 8 from Candle Science. Adhesive stickers for your tabs. Digital thermometer. Fragrance oil. I got the Coconut Bliss from the Flaming Candle. Mask. Gloves. Butter knife. You're going to need scales. Uh, this is a very important part of the process. You'll need one that can measure ounces, pounds, and grams. I use the larger one for the wax and the smaller one for the fragrance oils. Place your pouring pot on the scale and tear it. Another important part of the process is making sure that you know your formulas. The candle I'm making today is going to be 6 ounces, so that's approximately 170 grams. I'm going to be using 8% fragrance oil, so I need to make sure that the scale reads at least 157 grams in order for this candle to perform. So this is hard to do while I'm trying to record, but just make sure that you cut the wax that you need. Once you have your desired wax amount, just go ahead and place that on the hot plate. So once your wax is fully melted, you want to make sure that you go in there and stir it carefully, making sure to get rid of all the bubbles that's going to potentially prevent any sinkholes. Next, we're going to measure the fragrance oil. I like to recycle, so I just cut up the water bottles that I use and use it as a cup. Alright, so now we're just going to do the same thing we did for the wax and just place this on the gram scale and tear it. Sorry, it's getting dark over here. That's roughly 12.6 grams of fragrance oil in here. My uh, scale turned off. Sorry about that. Once your wax hits about 170 degrees, you can go ahead and pour carefully 